Guys, there's a new fragrance out by BDK Parfums called Pastessoir Extrait. This is the second extra fragrance from the house of BDK Parfums and Lucky Scent currently has an exclusive this whole month. I'm going to let you know all about this really delicious new offering from BDK Parfums. There's a discount code in the info box as well that you can use to take advantage of. Find out all about Pastessoir Extra coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yesterday we're talking about Pastessoir Extra. So I was never really a person that was sampling and enjoying and appreciating the original Pastessoir. So I went into this fragrance not knowing the original whatsoever. But whenever there's an Extra version of a fragrance, a Parfum, an Elixir, I'm all there. I want to really find out what they do with a fragrance. And sure enough, they've done a really great job with this one. And I can't believe the reactions I get from people with this one. So as I said, this is currently exclusively selling at Lucky Scent. I have a link in the info box. There's a 10% off discount code. It's the latest release from BDK Parfums created by Violaine Cola. I think that's how you say it, Violaine Cola. I just recently spoke about her with a video of uh, fragrances for Milano Fragranza. She has done two fragrances for that house. So now I'm starting to recognize her name with the, the different perfumes. And she did a really wonderful job with this one. So the fragrance retails for 100 ml, $280. It's an extra to parfum concentration at 30%. And its style is, I would call this an amber floral, amber fruity floral. It's a fruity floral with lots of ambery touches. There's also definitely the idea of earthy, woody notes under there and muskiness for sure as well with this fragrance. So the notes for this fragrance are quince chutney, tangerine, cashmere, jasmine absolute from Morocco, pear, patchouli from Indonesia, black pepper, ginger, cocoa extract, orange blossom, vanilla, and benzoin. So I had to get my nose on the original and I smelled it and I smell some similarities and obviously this is an extra version of the original so it's kind of going off of the same DNA. But what they've done here is so amazing with its intensity that uh, I'm quite impressed in how people also react to it when they smell this fragrance uh, off of me. So yes, on one day I had two reactions on another day also a very positive reaction with this one i had a sniff session client in here who really ended up enjoying this fragrance that's the first positive reaction actually i was wearing the fragrance that day as well another day i went in to get my hair cut and my barber shop said you smell amazing he's this big tall tattooed uh, rockabilly guy who loves fragrances he's worn dias and droga acro amouage you name it, different brands that I've actually recommended to him. And he really liked this uh, the way this one smells. So I was in my barbershop session for an hour. Then I went walking around. I was going up an escalator and down. A lady was going up and she said to me, you smell amazing. What are you wearing? So yes, I'm an oversprayer and that's kind of why I get reactions. I guess people that enjoy fragrances will react positively to it. And this wonderful lady really liked how I smelled. So when I first smelled this fragrance though, I thought to myself, there's a recognizable smell here. What am I smelling? I know, as I said, I'm not the person that was experienced with the original. So I didn't have that for me. I didn't have that going for me. But I thought, wow, I'm smelling something recognizable. I'm liking the combination of notes. I'm liking wearing it. And I'm also liking the intensity of this fragrance. It's really, really great. The reason I like it, it's, it's a really wonderful combination. As I said, there's amber, there's a fruitiness here, loads of fruits. There's a floral quality here, loads of floral touches. But I like the idea of the chocolate, the patchouli, the vanilla, and also the benzoin, which creates this ambery, woody earthiness. So this is kind of a key for me. This is what I like about this fragrance. And I think what I'm getting with this fragrance is the recognizability with fragrances like Mugler's Angel, Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel, La Vie Belle from Lancôme. Those are the kind of fragrances that this, this is reminding me. Obviously, it's not identical and uh, they're not smelling exactly as this smells, but there's some recognizability thing happening 
that I'm really enjoying about it. I really love patchouli and fragrances and especially as a base note it's super super fantastic and here what I like about it, the patchouli in this is the intensity the earthiness and then actually that sparkling intoxicating quality of patchouli and the great trail it leaves. This is key because this fragrance has amazing trail a very sexy trail and those of you guys that like fragrances like uh, the fragrances I mentioned, Angel, Coco Mademoiselle, La Vie Espelle, you're probably really going to like this. And I think there's that recognizability of this fragrance and the reminders of those very famous or popular designer fragrances. But it's a great combination of notes and also notes, uh, and it's also very, very intense. The concentration is thick in your face and also really, really delicious. The fruits come in, it's kind of jammy, sweet. The, the, the chutney, the quince chutney, and those of you that don't know quince, it's a really interesting apple slash pear like fruit that's pretty bitter. You have to cook it, so it makes sense they're using the chutney version or variety here. And then all the muskiness that comes in here as well. I think the muskiness helps with the trail uh, that's uh, created here. The patchouli, chocolate, vanilla, benzoin, amber, and the muskiness. It's very, very intoxicating. Really, really wonderful trail. Yeah, this might lean a bit feminine, but to me, what a wonderful fragrance this is. This is really intense, and I like my fragrances intense. And the fact that they're positive reactions in one day, my barber and also this wonderful lady was following me, asking me what I'm wearing. That really does uh, uh, make a, for a, a wonderful wearing experience and rewarding to wear something that other people enjoy. I'll say one more time, I'm an oversprayer. So if you're having issues or problems with people not reacting to your fragrances, maybe spray a little more. I'm an oversprayer. I sprayed this fragrance on at the house, uh, probably eight sprays, came to the office, which is a 20 minute walk. Then I dropped off things and I sprayed it again, like three, four more times then went to the barber shop and then that's when my barber reacted and an hour to an hour and 15 minutes later this wonderful lady reacted to the smell after the fragrance has been sitting on me for an hour and 15 minutes so these are the kind of fragrances that i really really enjoy it's the intoxicating fragrances that have the fantastic trail so i think you guys are going to enjoy it if you like these kind of fragrances the familiarity factor is really really great with this one just totally when I smelled it for the first time, I'm like, wow, I think I've smelled this fragrance before. What is that smell? I don't care. It smells really, really good kind of a reaction. So yeah, definitely get your nose on this one. And also I should say this extract or extra version of uh, Passessoir in comparison to Gris Charnel extra, I really like this. The way this one smells compared to that, that one didn't have a trail. It doesn't have the kind of notes that the you know I like with fragrance trails. The patchouli always does it for me. It's intoxicating. It's a long-lasting note, and you have that very sexy trail. Always known it. Fragrances like Angel, La Vie Belle, and Coco Mademoiselle. Very very intoxicating trail. This is also one fragrance that does provide that as well. But either way, guys, have you gotten your nose on Pastissoir Extra yet? Do let me know. Put a comment down below so I can find out. It's currently exclusively selling at Lucky Scent for the month, and then it'll go worldwide after that. And again, as I said, there's a discount code for 10% off if uh, you wanted to go ahead and take advantage of this particular fragrance. Other than that, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys get to go sample this one soon. If you have any questions or comments, please do let me know. Put a comment down so I can find out. But other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. So I do have a little bit of a bonus here for you guys. So. I enjoy this fragrance so much that I wanted to test it out with some layering. So what I like about this, as I said, is the patchouli. That patchouli is really, really intoxicating. So I thought to myself, if I can get a very simplistic kind of a patchouli fragrance with uh, not too much depth to it, if I layer that down here uh, on my skin and then spray this stuff uh, on top of it, how is it going to be? Well, I should say it's super amazing how it is. So you got to redo kind of like the mixology thing with layering. You got to figure out what would work. Don't overdo it with one fragrance that'll overpower the other fragrance kind of a thing. So I've tested it out with Eccentric Molecules Molecule 1 Patchouli, which is quite nice. It does amplify the patchouli in here, but creates a woodiness as well 
keeping the fragrance mostly smelling the same with a bit of an amped up patchouli. But I also tried it with Boys 1920 Real Patchouli, and this time it amplified the patchouli and also the chocolatey touches that are in here as well because this has the cocoa, the, the dark chocolatey kind of cocoa touches in here. So it amplifies that and makes it a lot more chocolatey and earthy patchouli, whereas it keeps the, the fragrance um, intact but you are definitely changing the smell and really amplifying it with that kind of uh, chocolate and uh, earthy patchouli combo. I haven't tested it out with any others, but I like what I'm smelling. The fragrance on its own is quite nice. I don't think there's any issues with this fragrance. Definitely wear it on its own. That's how it's meant to be. But I was just trying to boost up the patchouli and making it even more interesting with uh, an overload of patchouli. I'd say if you don't want to change this fragrance too much, go with something like Eccentric Molecules Molecule 1 Plus Patchouli because that is not overdose. It's not really intense. Sure, it's a bit woody, cedary, which kind of amplifies the woodiness here and also boosts up the basic earthiness of the patchouli in here. But if you want a big dramatic change, then go with something like a Real Patchouli from Boys 1920 or Reminiscence Patchouli Psychedelic from Joe Voy or something like that. But really, this is a wonderful offering. Really, really digging it. Definitely, I think it's become my favorite fragrance from this house. Hands down, I haven't noticed a fragrance from this house so far that has that amazing trail that I like in fragrances. And this one does. I'm all about trail. This is what really gets people turning their heads talking about the fragrance you're wearing and things like that. Sure, not everybody's going to do that. And also, if you, not not everybody's going to do it with a minimal amount of sprays. And I'm an over-sprayer and I keep spraying and I think that's the reason why I get positive reactions sometimes. Most likely, people that don't like fragrances will probably react negatively to it, but I don't care about that. I'm looking forward to receiving positive compliments and people asking me what I'm wearing. And it was really, really great to get those two compliments, not only from my barber, but also the lady who stopped me as I'm going down the escalator and she's going up and she said, what fragrance are you wearing? But either way, wonderful offering. Hope you guys get a chance to smell it. This is Passessoir X-Ray. Go do check it out. And then now I think I'm going to go check out the original. I haven't really fully worn the original, but let me know if you guys recommend the original. Now that this is out, I need to dig into it. Anyway, bye.